Hey guys, it is Apple SDK Dev. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to turn an image into a button. Because in this case, well, I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. So you can go ahead and open up Xcode. Now, um, I'm just going to be using an old file I was working on. This is basically, as you can, if you take a look right here in the .m file, it has like an IB action, which is play. So that's a button called play. If you click the button, it should play a sound that you can set up. In this case, it, um, once you press the button, it will be like, oh snap. And so, like, you can, like, set it to any jingle, and it's pretty cool like that. But, um, the thing I'm changing is normally if you go into the, um, .xib, the interface build, then you want to open up the view. Obviously, you'll start off blank, and the first thing you want to do is drag in a button. Because that's the only way we can really start off. Once you've got that, I just want to make sure I have my inspector. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Now, hopefully you have the image that you want to be clicking with. So in my case, as you can see right here, this looks like a button that says press me. It's pretty simple enough. So I'll go back to the interface builder, and in my media, there's the press me button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that in. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, ew, that's ugly. I kind of want to get rid of like all these black lines because it's a full button right now. So what you want to do is you want to make sure it's highlighted, and then your inspector, go up to the top left, and where it says type round rect, you want to change that to custom. See now, as you can see, it took it away, and now it's just like a plain old button. But as you can see here, if you go to trying to connect it to someone, like a referencing outlet, it has all of these instead of a regular image, would only have the new referencing outlet. Now we have all of the um, like touch up inside, which is what we're going to need to have. Alright, so now that we got that, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to what I need. I mean, so I'm going to drag that one to Files Owner, and that's going to be the play button. Touch up inside, also Files Owner, and that's going to be just play. Now also in this app, uh, I mean in this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you something I also just re recently learned. I've been always looking for like an info button that I can put in my app, and I've just been like using like an info image, like just a little eye image. And that's what I've been, that's what I've been using for all my applications. But I recently just realized this, if you drag in a round rect button, just like we did before, if you go up here, and where it says type round rect, you can actually change this to like info dark or info light. I didn't really know that, I mean... You guys might have known that, I just felt like telling you it right now. And you basically just connect it like the same way you would with um, a button. It connects the same way, you can make make it so it'll pop up an alert. I just wanted to show you that. Alright, back to this. Alright, I connected it all, I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, change that to simulator. 4.1, and build and run. And as you can see, well, here's the sample application we just made. So now let's just make sure my volume's up. Go ahead and press that button. Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh, oh, you can just press it as oh, many snap. times as you want. Oh, it will always oh, go. It was that simple, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys do this for yourself. Um, any, leave me a comment. Give me some information. Anything really, subscribe. Rate it five. That's about it. Thanks, guys.